this video is only about one concept, acceleration. And it's only about one concept because this is a very important concept that a lot of pe people struggle with. And honestly, I don't see why. I think it's just because people understand by acceleration just going faster and faster and faster. And that's like, this means that I am accelerating, but that, that's not my acceleration. So we need to be very, very careful about this. Make sure that we understand this properly. And if you understand what this means, you should have absolutely no problem with the rest of kinematics. But please, please, please make sure that you pay a lot of attention during this video and that you really, really get what this means. Okay? Now, the idea of accelerated movement is something that we've discussed before, which is that, for example, I have something that starts off really slow, goes faster and faster and faster. Of course, this is accelerated. It's going faster and faster and faster. Okay? But acceleration doesn't just tell us this thing is going faster, because that would be useless. Right? It's not the same to, you know, if I buy a car that goes from 0 to 100 kilometers in 7 seconds, that's pretty cool. If I buy a car that goes from 0 to 100 kilometers in 2 hours, that's not so cool. Right? So it doesn't only matter whether I accelerate, but how fast I accelerate. And that's what acceleration tells me. How much faster am I going every second? Okay? So, let's imagine, for example, that I'm still. So this is me being still. That's my still face. And my, my mouth is in the middle of my face. Anyway, so I'm still, and I start running. So after one second, I'm already running. So this is me running. And this is my running face. See, my, my head goes backwards. And I'm running at, let's say, 2 meters per second. And then after another second, I'm running at... I'm getting good at this. At 4 meters per second. And then after the other second, you tell me, how fast am I going to be going? Yes, you got it right. I'm going at 6 meters per second, and so on, right? So you can see that every second, I'm going 2 meters per second faster, right? Well, that's my acceleration. I am going 2 meters per second faster every second. So I am accelerating at 2 meters per second per second. So let's write this down. Let me zoom out. I should be teaching art, not physics. All right, so again, my acceleration tells me that I'm going two meters per second faster per second, right? So it's two meters per second per second. So how do we write this in a way that doesn't make me, you know, draw these brackets and stuff? Well, easy. The two seconds are dividing, so it's 2 meters per second squared. And that's what gets people confused. Why is there a squared here? No, that makes no sense. Well, yes, it makes sense. The square just means meters per second per second. So the acceleration tells me how many meters per second am I going faster each second? In this case, each second I'm going faster 2 meters per second. Now, careful. So let me just... Uh, ask you a quick question and see if you got anything. So, now I'm moving this. And, okay. So, here's me. And I am accelerating 4 meters per second every second. What is my speed? What is my speed? Give you 5 seconds to answer it. Pause the video. And tell, a number, tell me a number. Okay, well, if you got an answer for this, it means you didn't get what acceleration is. Acceleration tells me how much faster I'm going every second, but it tells me nothing about how I'm moving. So right now, I could be going this way at 200 kilometers per hour, or I could be going backwards, or I could be still. You don't know. All you know is that I'm going faster this way, but you don't know how I'm moving. So acceleration doesn't tell me anything about my speed. It tells me how my speed is increasing. 
For example, my acceleration is 4 meters per second squared. Am I moving forward or backwards? Well, I don't know. I would have to look at my velocity. If my velocity is negative, then I'm moving backwards. If my velocity is positive, then I'm moving forward. Acceleration cannot tell me how I'm moving, just how my velocity or my speed are increasing. All right, so here's a problem for you that I would like you to do in your head, pausing the video. I start running at 10 meters per second. So I'm already running at 10 meters per second. I'm not accelerating, that's my speed. Then two seconds later, I'm running way faster at 20 meters per second. What's my acceleration? Please pause the video and tell me an answer with units, please, with units. All right. Now, there's several ways we can do this. I'm going to do it the slow and, you know, not so smart way, but I'll do this so that things are very, very clear. Well, two seconds are really two steps of one second, right? So after one second, I'm going at a certain speed, and after another second, I'm going at, at another speed. The increase in speed each second is going to tell me my acceleration. Well, after one second, well, after two, I go to 20. So after one, I had to go to 15, right? So at here, I'm at 15 meters per second. So how much did my speed increase every second? Well, from here to here was five meters per second, and from here to here, it was also five meters per second. So it's clear that my speed is increasing five meters per second every second. All right, so my acceleration is five meters per second every second, and remember that we write this as five meters per second squared. Done. Good. Now let's do a slightly harder problem, and again, you do this without me. So, well, I'm not going to bother drawing myself this time because this is terrible, but here is me turning to a ball, and I'm moving at, let's say, five meters per second, and seven seconds later, I am moving at 19 meters per second. Again, pause the video, give me an answer with units. Now, again, I could do the same thing that I did before, right? I could just divide these in small steps in one second and try to figure out. But, I'd be much better off being a little smart about this. So I'm like, okay, so how much did the speed increase in total? Well, 19 minus five, that's 14, okay? So in this interval, my speed increased 14 meters per second. So let's just write this down. So increase in speed, or in velocity, whatever you wanna call it, I'm just going to say velocity to be more consistent. Uh, that's 14 meters per second. Right? And how long did that, did that take me? Well, that took me seven seconds. So if it took me seven seconds to go 14 meters per second faster, how much faster was I going every second? Well, obviously, two meters per second every second, right? 14 over seven. So actually, I can calculate the acceleration by dividing this thing by this thing, or this thing by this thing. So let's do that. Okay, so my acceleration increase in V over T. And that's how I calculate acceleration any time that I have two speeds like this. Now the funny thing about this is that you don't need to remember this formula because if you understand what you're doing, then you can work it out any time. So please, 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 please don't start doing the, oh, let's just remember formulas and hope that we're going to remember them all because there's lots of formulas in the IGCSE and there's no way you can remember them all together. If you don't remember the context, it's just going to be like remembering random strings of letters and numbers. I can guarantee it's not going to happen. If you understand what acceleration is, this thing should follow automatically. So focus on understanding what you're talking about when you're talking about acceleration and speed and time. And do not memorize formulas if you don't want to be extremely confused. Believe me, you will fail if you just memorize formulas. Focus on understanding. Okay, so believe it or not, that's, that's a doubt. Okay, yeah. Well, 
you know, if I was good at art, I would have, you know, studied art. Anyway, this is me running, and then I see a dog, and they're like, no, I don't want to, you know, hit the dog. So I have to brake, and I stop. Now, am I accelerating? Well, not really, right? Because I'm not going faster and faster. I'm going slower and slower. So it's like accelerating, but the other way around, right? So we call this decelerating, right? Now, so anyway, yeah, I'm not accelerating, I'm decelerating. But, you know, I'm a physicist, and I don't like to remember many, many concepts, right? So acceleration, deceleration, do we really need two things for this thing that's so similar? So, okay, first I was going faster, now I'm going slower. Is there that much difference? Not really, right? It's like when we were, like, with speed, I'm going forward and I'm going backwards. Do I really need two different things, one for each? No. Talk about velocity, positive, negative, done. Okay? Well, this is the same thing. Yes, I can talk about deceleration, but what's the point? Then I have to remember another concept. So instead of this, I'm like, well, no, look, I'm accelerating, right? It's just that I'm accelerating with a negative sign. So instead of going faster, I'm going slower and slower and slower. So when I say that I'm decelerating, I'm really saying that I'm accelerating with a minus. So for example, here I am going at 10 meters per second, and here I'm still, so zero meters per second. Took me two seconds to stop. How do I calculate this? Well, same thing as I did before. The increase in velocity, well, so what's the increase in velocity? Well, there's no increase, right? There's a decrease. It's 10 meters per second of decrease. Okay, well, so the increase is really minus 10 meters per second. And what's the time that it took me? Two seconds. So the acceleration is going to be minus 5 meters per second squared. So exactly the same thing with a minus sign. Because we are lazy to use two concepts. You could also say, I'm decelerating at 5 meters per second squared. It's the same thing. In the IGCSC, they may say it both ways. Same thing. So again, deceleration doesn't mean that I'm accelerating backwards. It just means that I'm going slower and slower and slower. Whereas acceleration means that I'm going faster and faster and faster. And they both tell me exactly how much slower I'm going every second or how much faster I'm going every second.